Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to create the snow particle system. Now, we could create this by duplicating the rain, swapping out the texture, and maybe along with a few other tweaks, create a snow system. And this may be your best bet if you're wanting your game to run on lower powered PCs. But I've already been through how to create the rain and I'm sure you're capable of doing that if you want to create it that way. But in this lesson, we're going to create it a little bit differently. So first things first, let's come to standard assets. We'll come to our particle systems, the prefabs, and I'm going to drag and drop the afterburner prefab into the scene. Now, similar to before, <laughs> I know it doesn't look like snow at the moment, but please bear with me, it will do. And we'll rename it as snow. And the first thing I'm going to do is delete glow. So we'll get rid of that. And now we just have the afterburner itself in the scene. And we'll go along and we'll actually change the settings. So the first one I'm going to set is duration. I'm going to give it a value of 5. We'll keep looping ticked. And we'll also tick pre-warm. Now... As I've said before, there's plenty of documentation on the Unity website about these functions, which I really suggest you read up, up about. I'm just going through it quickly in these lessons, just to give you the basics, but um, I obviously encourage you to spend more time than I'm going to do in this lesson, and to really tweak these settings until you get something you're happy with. I think that's the best way to learn particle systems is by experimentation. I'm just trying to give you the basics to help get you going. And start lifetime. We'll give this a value of 2. Start speed. Let's try a value of 10. And start size, let's try 0, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 again. We can leave 3D rotation unticked. These can all be left the same. And we'll come to max particles and let's give this value of 20,000. Now before we go on, we can actually come down here and the sphere collider and the afterburner physics force we can just get rid of these so just remove component and we'll keep going so with that in place let's come to a mission and i'm going to give this a value of 20000 again and again we'll leave it at that so let's go down we can untick color over lifetime I don't think we'll need that in place and we'll come to shape we'll tick it shape we want our box again and let's give it some values of 10 100 by 100 by 20 <clears throat> and now we're getting there now we're getting something that looks a little bit more like snow and we'll downsize shape actually I'm going to leave size over lifetime as it is and we'll come to the renderer and sort mode I'm just going to switch to none uh, let's have a look you may want to untick receive shadows that's entirely up to you and as for the rest I think I'm actually going to leave it as it is and 
Now we'll come to the collision. We've not done this before. But I want the particles themselves to collide with the world. So we'll come here and we'll change this from planes to world. We'll leave the collision mode as 3D. And let's go through this. Now bounce effect. I don't want any. And interior collisions. We'll get rid of that. We don't need to send message. We'll leave it at, at that for now. And we'll just come to the transform. And on the X axis, we'll set that to a value of 90. And as you can see, the particles are now colliding with the world. And as I said, you will probably want to tweak this. I mean, the actual, what are now, snowflakes are quite large. You may want to adjust this. Max particle size. Let's try a value of 0 0.25. That may be a little bit too big still. But again, as I said, I encourage you to experiment for yourself. Uh, I'm giving you the basics in this lesson. As you can see, it tells you what each one does if you hover your mouse cursor over. But um, I advise you to experiment till you find a particle system that you're really happy with. And uh, looks good for your project. But... Um, this is just to give you the basics to get... Um, you up and run in and as I said I think it's the best way to learn particle systems is to experiment so with that said let's drag and drop the snow onto the weather game objects as we've done before we'll come back to the snow and we'll just zero out the position as we've done before because as you know once the game starts the weather game object will default to just above the player's head. So, anyway, I um, encourage you to experiment with all the particle systems. We have one last job. We actually just need to assign them. So, the snow will drag and drop into the snow particle system in the inspector. And the rain... We'll do the same, we'll drag and drop onto the thunderstorm particle system. As you can see, I haven't got any audio clips for the other states as yet. I'm still looking, trying to find some public domain clips I can use. But uh, obviously, you guys can go ahead and find appropriate audio clips that you can use. And I think we'll leave it here for now. We still have some more work to do on the script. Uh, we may want to do some sort of skybox blend, you know. So at the moment we have a sunny sky. We may want to change that to an overcast sky. But uh, I think we'll leave it here for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.